Hey guys, Al Pooling here from Party Time DJ Services. On my last day of summer vacation at camp once again on Manitoulin Island, Ontario, Canada. And as usual, I've brought along some music with me and some sound equipment. I have the four-wheeler here. We've been having fun for a good two weeks. Uh, first time we came for one week, I brought uh, my uh, NX-10Cs from Yorkville over. So I had that uh, playing music outside. And for this week, I have my uh, Yamaha GBR-12. It's been uh, playing tunes uh, pretty much uh, all week. It's been sounding great doing it. Anyway, a few final thoughts on the Yamaha DBR12 after owning them for about eight months. Really, really terrific uh, beginner speaker. It's uh, really it's Yamaha's uh, lowest price line, but uh, sounds just phenomenal. Great, great, great bass response. And in my initial uh, review, I'd said that it had really strong high frequencies, and uh, after using it for a while, like. I'm gonna have to say that it has good high frequencies, but not uh, to the point of it being sounding shrill or... It's just a really nice, well-balanced sound. Now, you won't be able to tell over on the... Because it's, it's just a YouTube video. But it's got a really good blend of, uh, you know, top end, mid, and uh, low frequencies. Right now it's actually on uh, FOH mode, or front of house, or main mode. Which actually gives a nice little boost to low frequencies. For a compact 12, it actually puts out a very nice amount of low frequencies. I really love the design of it. Uh, I prefer the material of the uh, DBRs over the DXRs. Just because it's a little bit, even though it's more plasticky, it seems to be more resistant to, to scuffs and scratches and stuff. It's just a really great looking cabinet at all angles. I really like the uh, how the speaker looks. As mentioned, for, uh, for beginners, this is a really terrific choice. Uh, as of the DXR series, it seems to be like almost voice for, uh, for CD material or you know, pre-recorded music. Slightly what, uh, what some people would call mid-scoop, just because it's not... Uh, you know, old PAs a long time ago, they used to be voiced for lots of uh, strong mid-frequency content. All the newer speakers seem to be you know, pre-EQ'd at least a little bit. And a lot of manufacturers do take out some of that uh, mid, just to have a nicer, more hi-fi sound. But like in my initial review, very nice, flexible uh, rear panel. Easy to connect just uh, in a little uh, MP3 player. Directly in there, you can plug it in an outlet. can be an outhouse outlet if you want. But I've really enjoyed having this camp this week. And compared to the NX-10Cs, of course, the low frequency was quite a bit more substantial. And the NX-10Cs, uh, they had a really bright top end and mid range, especially because I used them at the on the playback setting, all the way to the playback setting, so it did add a lot of top end and mids. So the DVR-12, great speaker. Sounded great all week here. Very nice, strong, low frequencies for a compact 12 inch. It comes in at 30, 34, 35 pounds, so. For a beginner, these will do weddings and small events with no problems whatsoever. Even without a sub, I think it'll be fine for smaller events. My DXR 15s are still my favorite full range speaker, but the, for the price, I paid for this 549 for this Canadian. I think that's the rough, that's the price right now in the U.S. because they have like, gone up a little bit. But great choice, great sounding speaker, and I haven't seen the limit light yet. Even out here at camp, I've been I've had them all the way to the maximum setting, and I've had my uh, MPP players all the way to the full, and I haven't seen the limiters yet. So plenty of output, very good uh, processing, obviously. This has been Al with uh, just a quick second look at the Yamaha DBR12 after having them use them for about uh, seven or eight months. Again, just love the design, love the way it looks, and it sounds just terrific. Pretty much voiced for uh, pre-recorded music, but it should do, do great for uh, you know live and whatever other applications you might have as well. Very nice, smooth sound. Not too much top end, not too much low frequencies. Uh, some people might find low frequencies a little bit strong, so you can always just take off the FOH mode and have it on the... Uh, oh my god, I think this is One Direction. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video here. <laughs> Have yourselves a great summer, guys. It's been Al Kulai from Party Time DJ Services, Yamaha's DVR12.